Good morning, everyone. So today we will be discussing a new topic, verification and validation. Probably the most misunderstood concept in design requirement of ISO 9001. If not the entire standard, it is a difference between this design verification and validation, which is very confusing. These two steps are distinctly different and are important in good design process. So let us look at what is the difference between verification and the validation. So before we proceed, uh, this is my YouTube page where you can look at different videos uh, related to Six Sigma quality, statistics and project management. And uh, I am also working on few videos which I will be sharing soon on this channel soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also do hit the bell icon as well for all the latest updates. So let's begin the today's topic on verification and the validation. So what exactly is the difference between the verification and validation? So when we say in the layman's term, uh, the verification is something like, did we build the product right? and validation means did we build the right product there is a lot of difference between these two building the right product refers back to user needs while building it right checks the specifications are correctly implemented by the user or system verification is basically strictly a paper-based activity it starts with taking all the design inputs, specifications, uh, government and industry regulations, knowledge taken from previous designs and any other information necessary for proper function. But the validation is more or less conducted on that the final product of a device. So let us look at the ISO 9000 definition of uh, verification and validation. So design verification, uh, is nothing but the confirmation that the product meets the identified specifications and design validation means the confirmation by examination and the evaluation of objective evidence to confirm that your final product meets the customer need and intended use now if you talk about the iso 9001 uh, it basically has two sections section 8.3.4 uh, of the design and development control in which the 8.3.4 C which says verification activities are conducted to ensure that the design and the development outputs uh, meet the input requirement that is your functional requirement and the specification now the next standard says that 8.3.4 point D which is for the validation activities are conducted to ensure and the resulting product and services meet the requirements for the specified application or intended use that is your customer needs and this verification and validation are the independent procedures that are used together for checking the product service system needs requirement or specification and to fulfill its intended purpose they are basically the critical components of ISO 9001 family. And verification validation are independent. So they are not used for making any such uh, justification, but they are related to each other. It's, we start with design verification and then end up with validating your customer needs. So this is a, a very famous waterfall diagram. So if I talk about the design verification, it says uh, when it says the confirmation of objective evidence that your design input meets your design output. When your design input meets the design output, it is verification. And when you final product meets the user need or customer need, it is validation. It may be entirely possible that your product may pass the verification activity but fails at the validation. And, and this happens as the like as we build the product as per specification, but the specification itself fails. And to address that, 
you have to conduct the validation activity. And design validation basically uh, comes out from the requirement that you have to perform under the actual simulated use conditions or on the initial production sample or production equivalent. So uh, in general, basically there are two primary statistical methods that are used uh, during verification and validation to show the uh, conformance for your product to all the requirements and the customer needs. The first one, uh, what we have is the sampling plan uh, is used properly. They allow you to make certain claims about the capability of your product to meet the specification uh, with a given confer confidence level, usually it is 95%. For example, if you uh, select the proper sampling plan and acceptance criteria, then you can probably uh, give a claim such that uh, with like 99% confidence, we can say that 95% of the product will meet the specification. The next method that is hypothesis testing, which depends on your product requirement, can be used to compare the products of your validating against the desired results. Uh, the typical example could be the functional requirements to show that the particular level of confidence that the product is performing at the particular level. So that's all I have for this session on verification and validation. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel and do like, share, comment and subscribe and let me know your views. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.